Is the Counter-Strike original map pool good? And I'm not talking specifically about competitive viability, it's kind of obvious which ones are good, but are the rest good and playable? Yeah, you can say that, but definitely some are worse than others. On community servers, only a few from the original map pool are ever played, those being mostly the competitively viable ones, but they weren't ever going to be enough. I mean, it can get tiring rotating the same few maps every time, so it's up to the community to make more, right? Well, yes, but even so, how many of those are actually good? And that's exactly what we are doing today, compiling a list of the most popular community maps for CS 1.6. Just a heads up, I want to keep this simple so I won't be including maps from community game modes. So no, Fi Snow, Pull Day, Gold Bee Hop, ZM Dust, Op India, HE Glass, Surf Egypt, Aim Map, 35 HP, or HNS Floppy Town. Now allow me to dust off my old CD collection of cracked games and Linkin Park MP3s so we can proceed. <gasps> <coughs> well, seems like the dust is still here, because starting off we have DE Dust Forever. This one was way more popular way back in the day. Large, with quite a different layout, so it's not exactly a Dust 2 clone like most Dust-related maps. Actually though, this map is an homage to the original DE Dust. I think Dust Forever came out in 2001, so it might predate Dust 2. The one who made it is Lupus, borrowing Magman's textures. He even thanks David Johnston for the inspiration. So when you think about it, Dust Forever does take quite a lot from Dust and does it better, but other things have the same issues, like the lack of balance. Maybe it's due to the sheer size of everything, but T and CT contact points will either be a standstill, like tunnels, or too easy to control. Throw a boatload of flashes and you have B-side control. Hold angles around A and T's will never Never get to it. Bombsides themselves are also quite close to CT spawn, so rotations are almost immediate. Nothing else to add, besides I always considered this breakable door to be such a nuisance, like why did we have to break it? Nonetheless, very fun map. DE Dust 2002. Fun, but really imbalanced. This one is definitely inspired by Dust 2, but with a different approach, perhaps borrowing something from Aztec or Vertigo. This map was made in 2002, obviously, by Azat A. The layout itself isn't bad, but making it multi-layered is part of what throws off the balance. Having a singular entrance for T's to the bomb sites is what really makes this map CT sided, though. The only way to A site is this part here, and the only way to B is through this ramp. Also, like Dust Forever, bomb sites are really close to CT spawn, so you get instant rotations. But why is it popular? I don't know, but my guess is the angles being quite unconventional to every other map gives Dust 2002 some unique gameplay. I personally was never a fan of it. DE Dust 2 2006, my favorite Dust spin-off. It looks and feels just like Dust 2, but with a few additions, which aren't bad and make the gameplay more fun. It's made by JPF and advertises RestrictArea.com, some sort of French CS community website of which only broken archives remain. So how different is Dust 2 2006 beyond texturing? There's this area starting from long doors with a balcony to mid and goes into a bridge towards a site. B route is also completely overhauled with a long corridor for mid connector, an open upper tunnel for fast rotation, with a new entrance to B site and finally the hole above the site is now a balcony. All of this bodes so well with the map, I honestly think the design was ahead of its time. Kinda perfect for a full 32 people server while still maintaining that Dust 2 balance. Which I could just be biased and wrong about, but I've never had any issues with holding angles or pushing sights. This map <laughs> just works. <coughs> okay, enough dust. I cannot breathe. <laughs> I believe those are the most popular Dust-related maps, and by the way, the CD thing, I used to store map packs and other stuff on CD so I don't lose them in case I can't find them online again. Did anybody else do that? Anyway, moving on. 
DECPL Strike and DECPL Mill. Now, I'm lumping these two together because there isn't much to say. Why? Well, if you haven't caught on, these maps are what became Mirage and Tuscan, arguably the most popular community diffuse maps ever. Everybody knows them and has talked about them, both exist in CSGO as competitive maps, though Tuscan until recently was kind of forgotten. I mean, it's still popular in CS 1.6, but its general relevancy was revived once it came to CSGO, and I really love this map. It should definitely become permanent in the map pool. Anyway, their first versions were made for Cyber Athlete Professional League, who owned the rights, so without infringing, remakes had to be made and for the better. DECPL Strike came out in 2004 and was remade by its original creator Bubkiz as Mirage and came out in 2010. DECPL Mill came out in 2003 and is made by the legend Chris Audi, which nobody seems to ever mention by the way. <clears throat> Then, the map was remade as Tuscan by Colin Volroth from Brute Maps in 2005, mainly because a different esports league called Sivo wanted DE Mill, but couldn't have it due to copyrights. Next, DE Rats. Ah, now this sets off the nostalgia tingles, doesn't it? One of the most unique ideas for a map, it was made in the year 2000 by Chris Spain. Wow, this is the oldest map on the list. The layout is, well, for a map like this, it's hard to say, so I'll put it like this. Counter terrorists start in the cupboard under the sink and in the fridge, while terrorists start in the pantry closet. Objective is to blow up the sink, and that's the only bomb site. Stage hazards are too many, so besides falling from too high and drowning, this mousetrap deals damage, the stove will burn you but not too fast, this spray is poison once you step on it, and finally the blades in the sink can be turned on. Side note, some of you might be wondering what's with the spinning blades of death in the sink? Well, I think it's an American thing. It's called a garbage disposal unit and it's so you can throw biodegradable waste in the sink to get shredded so it can travel safely through plumbing without clogging. Also, they don't use live blades, so you can't shred your hand if you put it in the sink, just so you know. Okay, back to DE Rats. You know, despite everything, this map was and still is very fun, so I understand why it's popular. Bit of a timeless concept. My only gripe is that due to its sheer size and layout, sniping is quite a dominant strategy, since everybody comes out of a hole, making gameplay predictable in a way. You peek outside and you don't really know where to look first, which also makes walking in the open exposed from every side very risky. DE Westwood. My god, I never liked this map. Look, I know I might be going against public opinion, but the layout is just trash. It came out in 2003 and it's made by Nathaniel Miller, or Nipper. So you basically go through tight corridors either on the left side of the map or the right side, inside the buildings, or you can just expose yourself in the open and get instantly decimated. All of these buildings just provide CTs with spots to be rats. Look, I don't mind the western aesthetic, I really like that, but everything else is just you pop out like a weasel and can get instantly discombobulated from 10 different angles or walls even. I do like the description though. Those wacky terrorists are at it again. This time they've gone back in time to try and blow up a water tower or some barrels of booze in your old bomb site. Perhaps if my options weren't so limited in terms of strategy, this could have turned out better. But despite my seething attitude, it's a really popular community map, even today. So I concede, people really like Westwood. CS Italy 2, changing it up a little bit cause surprisingly there are popular hostage maps and this one I feel has really been forgotten. The layout is simple and open while still providing some strategy. It was made in 2007 by Nicolas Olson from Sverige. Yo det är en mycket bra korta från Nicolas, jag gillar det. 
So this isn't an official sequel, the OG Italy was made by Glenn Cooper, but that didn't stop the community from adopting it as one. Gameplay wise, you either go on the left and duke it out with the snipers, or try going through the middle for close encounters, maybe even the tight alleyway, or go towards the right, but beware of snipers. Only thing that's missing is more cover for the T's, since their options boil down to camping the house or going sicko mode. Eh, what can you really expect, it's still a hostage map, but a good one. CS Assault Leet. Well, it's not exactly an original map, but it does have many improvements to the layout as opposed to the original Assault. It's made by... huh, well... This is awkward. So, it came out in 2008, and there is no author credits, but I actually found an older version called CS Leet Assault, and it's basically the same, but it came out in 2007 with the author, or editor, who seems to be Zindrome, contained in a text file, but the map description is still empty in-game. Well, anyway, this map is full of additions and changes that do make it better than the original, but some things are flat out unnecessary, like this sniper spot. Or this one here. Or the expanded area under the bridge. Overall, not too different, but distinct enough to be considered an improvement to the original. I definitely think it's better and more fun. DE Barcelona. It doesn't really look like the city, but oh well. This map's layout isn't the worst and is quite intuitive. Released in 2013, description doesn't say much, but the creator, Lozo Maps, has a Facebook page. Although Barcelona is nothing astounding visually, it is quite balanced. A site is sort of enclosed by ramps, a window, and a deadly tower T's should be mindful of, but there isn't much hiding inside it. B site has multiple ways of approach, and either from mid or from the corridor on the right. If there's anything I wish was better about this map, it's that T-spawn, it seems a bit too far back, and some areas in the map are kinda pointless, like this pit, and the long tunnels leading to the A-site tower. The Barcelona website? Archived. It seems like it was only a forum community. Ha! Huh, ni tan sol ses catala. But all that aside, it's a great map. DE Kabul, again with the dusty texturing, ugh. Anyway, the layout is quite unique, and as opposed to other multi-layered maps, this one works well. Released in 2002, this map was made by Ollie. While Kabul itself is large, it's fairly easy to understand. The bomb sites themselves are almost on top of each other, but it doesn't mean they are easy to get to. Just be wary of those sniper spots. I really like this map, and if I were to criticize it, well, I think it's a bit too CT sided. Don't get me wrong, there are ways for T's to push and take over, but it seems kinda easier to do that as a CT. Pushing out as a T from the door or from the long stairs can easily expose you to death from many angles. Pushing from the stairs requires a couple of flashes first, and lastly, don't forget this cheeky shortcut to CT. Plus, those op spots. Great map, but why do I feel like Kabul only became popular in like, the last 10 years? DE Abaddon. This map seems large, but it's actually small considering the layout, which is very straightforward. It came out in 2007 and was made by Medion and Patsuch for GZN.LT, or GameZone Network, and guess what? It's archived. Yeah, that tends to be the case with these maps. One of the most interesting aspects of this map is the use of fog that kind of obfuscates players at long distance, which I really like. There's an elaborate underground with exits on B site, mid, and A site. What I'm not a fan of is how most of this map will be taken over by T's while CTs can comfortably take their sniping positions and just camp. So without an ass load of flashes, you'll push towards any site and be greeted by hot lead. The tunnels aren't that different either, yet the map somehow remains kinda balanced, it's just that the angles promote a lot of camping. I like it, but there's better. 
DE Alexandra, a small and concise map. The layout really shows there isn't much, but it being on the small side doesn't make it worse. It was made in 2010 by Septimius AI, so with this map being not that big with a lot of people, it can be chaotic, especially these treacherous mid doors which are right on the spawns of both sides. Other than that, B-side can be tackled from three different places, including this section here, which kinda leads to CT spawn. A-side is not that easy to get to, there's an underground which I feel is kinda pointless, and this small tunnel which can easily be pushed by CTs. Overall, great map, but there is one glaring issue. You see how the skybox is very high so you can throw over nades? Well, due to some of the angles on the rocks, you can climb on top of the buildings. You you can't do this on the entire map, but it's a massive exploit, which could get you kicked or banned on servers. I know I did when abusing this. And that should be all of them. Some maps didn't make it for reasons like not being played enough or it's a spin-off not worthy of covering, so I'll put them in this honorable mention section. DE Hell, Fact, Avangard, Amr, Dust 2x2, Dust Too Long, Dusty Aztec, Bretonia, Inferno 2 SE, and Snipe It 5. So it even is my source to posture these maps as being not popular enough or others for being popular. Part of it is personal experience from playing this game for so many years, and the other, you can see for yourself. Go to Game Tracker, pick CS 1.6, pick Sort by Map, only type DE underscore, and observe the results. But I'm certain some maps were missed, so surely somebody will scream at me in the comments about it. Oh, while we are on the subject of being mad, I forgot my pickle jar on the counter all night. Now they're all soft and soggy. Like, how can I be that stupid? Why did I even feel the need to take out the entire jar from the friggin' fridge?